Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Hearthstone, where today we're going to be taking a look at the most recent rendition of Dragon Priest. That's right, a deck that I've been enjoying for quite some time, even since it was introduced or pushed into play in the Grand Tournament, thanks to things like Twilight Guardian. There's some new tools that are that have come into play from League of Explorers, but as League of Explorers is on its way out, there's some key tools that will be leaving as well, but still, we have until about the end of April, beginning of May, before that happens... I will be focusing mainly on this account on standard format. I do have a free-to-play account in Europe as well, and that'll be mainly focused on wild. So these accounts will actually diverge a little bit, which is pretty interesting. But let's talk deck. Uh, Dragon Priest is a deck that is very much a board control, get tempo, play your cards and win. It loves playing on curve. It has a very nice, friendly curve for the most part here. But there's some new tools that are worth speaking about now. Uh, this was a list that was taken from the um, competitive Hearthstone subreddit. For a while, I was running two entombs and one light bomb instead of two light bombs and one entomb. But I'm finding the two light bombs, God rest their soul, when a wild comes into play and these get kicked out of standard. But I find the two light bombs very important to this deck. In fact, there is a lot of board clear between two light bombs, two holy novas. So that is something to consider especially if you can also get a Ysera Awakens, which is not exactly reliable, and Chilmaw being able to blow things up. Uh, Nefarian also makes an appearance in this deck, not only because he's a dragon, but he's also a very good late-game threat, and sometimes the two spells that you can get... Okay, maybe if it's something like uh, Destroy a Demon and it's Jaraxxus on the other side can win the game, but still, uh, Nefarian, a good 8-8, and getting two additional cards can be nice. You're not usually wanting for cards, though. North Shore Cleric and Power Ward Shield are here for card draw, and uh, one Shrinkmeister to go with the two Cabal Shadow Priest. I was wondering if I should run double Shrinkmeister or double Museum Curator, but I think one of each. Uh, well, other people have been very curious about how this works too, but I think it's a pretty good balance. If there is a risk in this deck, it's that the only three drops that you have are uh, Shadow Ward Death, one of them, two Velen's Chosens, and a Brand Bronze Beard, which you generally should not be playing on uh, turn three. But he is a very good combo card. Uh, triggering, triggering Battle Cries twice is very good for Twilight Guardian to make it a 4-6 with Taunt for 4 mana. Or Twilight Whelp to make it a 2-5 uh, for 1 mana. Or Shrinkmeister to knock something down to minus 4 attack. Wormrest Agent can be a 3-4 for 2 mana, so those are all those are all very good if you can get it. My personal favorite is uh, 6 damage for something with Blackwing Corruptor, though. Uh, Two card draw from Zerd Drake's also good in general. But yeah, I'm really liking how this deck plays, and I hope that I can at least get some interesting games here in the video today. So, that said, better to talk about the deck and then play it. So let's play. You asked for it. The light shall bring victory. Okie dokie. So going first, we are at rank 12 right now. Now, most of the Hearthstone I've been playing lately has actually been on the mobile app, so I haven't been able to record as much, but I've also kind of sat back a few seasons because the metagame was getting a little bit stale with League of Explorers. Very excited about the change in formats here. Not very excited about my opening hand, though, because if there is one thing to be said about Dragon Priest, it's one of the criticisms that you get of it is that it's a deck that plays itself to a point. If you get a curve, you play a curve. If you uh, don't hit your curve, sometimes you'll lose. Like, if this is Mech Mage, I could be in trouble. Looks like it's Tempo Mage, though, with the uh, Mana Worm here. But one of the other things that makes it a little bit exciting, too, at least for me sitting here, is that, you know, I can't always really predict... Uh, oh, this is, uh, this is not going to be fun. Um, one of the things that at least gets a little bit exciting for me, though is that I've been away for a while, so I don't necessarily know all the matchups like the back of my hand, like maybe I used to. I need to challenge this board with something at least, so we'll give that a try. Um, as much as I'd love to hold off on Shrinkmeister and be patient, it's important for me to keep him from snowballing early here, and if he's going to Frostbolt this, uh, that'll be a little painful, but so be it. Oh, Snow Chugger, okay. Alright. So we're down, and we uh, we saved ourselves here at least, and this is a good top deck too. But you want to get your Dragon Synergy out, you want to be able to actually taunt things. And one of the nice things that I try and do when you can is not always tip my hand on what kind of priest we're playing here. 
until later. But the Power Ward Shield 2-6 is nice. I would have loved to put Velen's Chosen on it. That's a little more important. And Tomb is a really fun card. It's uh, one that just fits in really well with the Priest of uh, being able to steal whatever. Um, Stable Portal, on the other hand, also a very fun card. And let's see if he gets a one cost of some such that's very good. So he's not going to attack in with this right now. My best play... Well, it's a card. Okay. Oh. Oh, to have a coin. I could heal myself here, but he would just be able to throw something into it. Is it worth using Velen's Chosen? It at least uses my mana. And makes it more likely to actually kill things. Because that's a... Uh, four... Four health, so he'd have to attack in with two things, or use something to clear. I do have some board clear. I just don't really like that play, but once again, if you don't actually hit your curve with the uh, Dragon Priest, bad things come. Now, what I used to do at least was try and mark things on the board just to see, okay, they use the... Uh, they use this thing, so it's time to launch the... Or they use the coin, time to launch the rocket. Not what I did here, and I'm going to play a little... Well, let's see what he drops on the board. Spider tank. Not my favorite. Nothing here is my favorite. I could Holy Nova. I mean, if I drop an Azure Drake, I need to start drawing in the stuff. I could two for one, but this is a pretty weak two for one. I'd like to get some more stuff on the board. Azure Drake would be good to combo with uh, Holy Nova, but I don't have time. I'm going to assume that he has, even though it's Mech Mage, he still could have uh, Archmage Antonitis. So I'll save the death for that. There's not going to be too many targets other than Antonite. Well, you know, I could intuit Antonitis. Uh, Dr. Boom is your possible other play. So death is good for that. And Tomb is good for that. Please tell me he's not actually killing the Drake. That would be so lovely. He's going to kill the Drake. Or he's going to freeze the Drake. Is he going to frostbolt the Drake? Oh, that's annoying. Well, our choice might be made for us if we just have to Holy Nova or wait. Well, we'll make it look like we top decked a Holy Nova. We got a ton of minions in here, and I know I was playing with the deck tracker previously. I haven't checked to see if they've updated it, although I know the site that was running it shut down. So I held off as long as I could for that. That could be a good Entomb target. Although I know Boom's coming. You, you bet your ass he has Boom in hand right now. I just need some minions. Alright. Like, we have all the minions. Uh, let's give it a try. Holy Nova's just so weak there. That's a little bit stronger. I'll take out the spider tank. I wield the power. Hopefully this base trade. But I just want to get something on the board at this point. I guess the question now is if he booms and it's looking like he doesn't boom here. Might just be worth entombing that anyway. Up. Online. Uh, my kingdom for a villain's chosen. My kingdom for a villain's chosen here. It's not going to happen, but especially since he's just going to point that guy away. Okay, so this is the exact board state we don't want in this matchup. So this guy is actually the one that's most likely to die just from a Holy Nova. But he's also the most dangerous, so we'll just at least entomb that. We're going to see if we can survive a little bit. And as always, in case you don't know, in case you're catching up here, uh, I do always appreciate and enjoy criticism in my play here, or thoughts on what I could have done better. Like, maybe I should have Holy nova earlier, even though it would have just been a two-for-one. Um, I mean, right now... With, with Dragon Priest, what I found is that while I've been doing very good laddering so far, there's the bone at least. Um, sometimes you're just, you just don't get the cards and then 
things like mech mage will just sometimes overrun you you can't be you can't get too upset about that but we are facing lethal next turn and that's not really going to help me like if i holy nova death here i mean we got nine mana I mean, I can't taunt to save my life. I mean, what does killing the boom bots really do for me here? We don't save ourselves a ton. I mean, he could just be able to kill me with fireball anyway, but with all these things having three health and me not being able to stick some additional spell damage becomes a little bit more of a problem but yeah i just if there is one risk it's kind of like control priest in a way if you just stuck get stuck with a bunch of spells you got to survive till the end but something like a wow that's some good rng uh something like this kind of deck or this kind of opponent it gets to be a little painful because they can just uh snowball the board even light bomb doesn't do very much against this so we're not dead yet, but we are in rough shape. Rough shape. Is he? He hasn't actually attacked with the Mech Warper. I can fix anything. Okay. Oh, good. My Holy Nova kills one thing. There we go. Pretty sure I'm just dead. Probably by something I could have done in the early game to prevent this. But the other important life lesson for Hearthstone is that you do not always survive everything. This is so sad, too. Because I still die. Well played. You have Five damage from this, one damage from there. Nothing I can do. So probably something I could have done better, but let's try it again. Your soul shall be mine. The light shall bring victory. So this is what we would call a better start, if I can just get a dragon. But what you, what ideally you'll get is something on curve, one and then two and then. Oftentimes, I've found what the creator of this deck has uh, said previously is that he doesn't run a lot of three drops because he finds himself wanting to heal on three. There's a light bomb that wouldn't have saved me the last time. If I'm having, I mean, that last game I was in trouble. When you're having to use an entomb on an Azur Drake, that's uh, that's not very good. No didn't get a drag we didn't hit our dragon but I do want to at least place something right away. so at least getting Velen's chosen out early makes this stick makes it a threat assuming it's hand lock of some kind could be Reno lock or otherwise or it could be zoo I mean that is also a thing it could be and we are now slightly off curve, but that's okay. Are you mocking me? Pro oh god, you know I probably should have attacked the Imp Gang boss. If only to uh, make it die if it attacks into this. My shield for right. Okay, that's pretty good. See what we got here. That's like the top deck of top right decks. Alright. I do think it's funny, in fact. Because I got another Worm Rest Agent. So this is more of what at least I was hoping for with Dragon Priest in my other matchup is starting off with some of my taunts, starting off with some of my stuff, I guess. I'm assuming he's mortal coiling here. Uh I'm I'm gonna guess at this point that this is a, a Reno lock. Even though no no no, no 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 Zoo would play that too, perhaps. Alright. Hmm. Right away. Let's see what else we can draw. I don't need to throw out a bunch of taunts yet. And you've got enough health. Okay, so we're getting all the things today. 
What would you call it? The sometimes good, sometimes bad Dragon Priest. It's honestly a deck that's pretty consistent. That's probably worth entombing given what else is in this deck. So let's grab it. Right away. I'd rather push him down and see if I can end the game early or draw out Reno early while I have board control. Because the nice thing about Entomb is that it doesn't just kick it back to the hand, he just doesn't have it at all. That's fine. I mean, Lotheb is tough, and he's a card as, as effective as he is and as good as he is to have in your hand. He's not a card I'm going to miss when it goes to uh, the new format. And I probably misplayed, but I should have healing first. But I knew I was going to play the Blackwing right Corruptor. I can't think of a card that would have come up that would have changed that, especially since uh, it was Lotheb, and I can't really death a Lotheb. So 8 health, 6 health. Is it Reno time? It's Reno time. All right, well, at least I wasn't wrong. Probably the most important thing is that I was able to draw out Reno early, so... I don't really have any cards that'll uh, do you know cleanly. All right, who do I want to play here? Let's heal. Just to dodge Mortal Coil, we got a second Light Bomb. Uh, probably more efficient. Just go ahead and throw it in Azur Drake to get even more card draw. Priest can actually match uh, Warlock here, but the important thing is that I got the Reno out early. So now we just have to worry about giants, which we have light bombs for. We have a death for that. Okay. You can silence that now. I've gotten all the value I need out of that. And zombie to chow. All right. Well, that's a good death target. It's an even better uh, Holy Nova. Yeah... Uh, no, we'll hold on to the Holy Nova. Because here's the thing, is that there's some cards I'll want to death. I have both of my Light Bombs in hand. So we don't have to worry about uh, the healing restoration now. I wonder if he runs a Hellfire, I don't know, but I got a lot of taunts. I'd love to be able to drop Nefarian or Ysera on here, but I have I have enough cards to push for the win. Ooh, dodge that one. More people are playing Mind Control Tech towards the end of uh, Standard, or towards the end of uh, the split in the format, so that's fine. Siphon Soul, he's using Siphon Soul on that. Okay. This smells like a Ysera turn if I've ever read it, especially since it's Reno. So we're just going to go ahead. I will honestly eat the Mortal Coil for this. I have another one in hand. I dream the Alright, so Nightmare. Not my favorite, but a good finisher. More important thing is that that is yet another card engine, so I'll have things to play. I could have played Nefarian. That would have not been bad. So there's a Hellfire. That's actually pretty good for me. Well, he's already used Mortal Coil, so I didn't have to worry about the second one. Dread Inferno. Hmm. Okay. How do I want to handle this? I could put one ton up. I don't think it's a good idea to light bomb here. Seems like a decent chill maw turn. The other alternatives are just to try and draw. I only have one death and I have two light bombs. But I want to kind of save the light bombs for uh, bigger dragon issues than this. And if he's running something, it actually runs a silence. Another silence, good for him. Alright. No awakens just yet. 
Yeah, I've had plenty of people question in the past why I put Chilma on my decks doesn't really fit. And uh, it's just one of those cards, it's like, Dragon Priest is a pretty good Swiss Army Knight to a point where uh, this does give him a little scouting. Of course I have this many cards, I'd probably have a dragon. Um, I have no time for games. Okay. That is a little more annoying. I guess the question now is, uh, do I start to be the beatdown on this? Because I don't know if he's necessarily going to be able to kill this outright. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cards, so I have to play something. I have to play two somethings, actually. There's one something. Do I just make the other one uh, Emerald Drake? The problem is he can run Emerald Drake into Sylvanas and kill it. I mean, I could play Cabal. I shall bring you That's not awesome. Let me change your I'll point. take it. I can at least Nightmare it if it comes down to it, or it can uh, dissuade uh, Sylvanas. So is he running the Black Knight, I guess is what I want to know. Twisting Nether. There are worse outcomes than that for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't have any little card counters either, so. All right, we just uh, screwed ourselves up there. You can laugh about that in the comments. It's like I counted the cards, and yet I still didn't have enough to take more than one. So half the battle cry, but I really wanted something on the board. I've got the beast in my skin. Pushes that out. Oh, wow. All right, so more healing. A little sad that I lost that, but not so bad. Mm. Here's the thing, is that I really want an Azure Drake, but it will mill me another card. And I can't play other things, so I'm kind of stuck having too much of a good thing. And just build our board a little bit. I have Light Bomb that might be able to bail me out. So these guys will have to run into this. I feel like I could have handled this part better, but he is almost out of options. And once again, I have two Light Bombs. I'm not playing Justicar here, which is a card that I could fit in. Conceivably for uh, something like Chilmong. That's a good thing to save corruption for. Okay. From the void I come. So once again, definitely a game where some mistakes have been made. And uh, that's okay. My own brand bronze beard. Not quite in time. Let's see. Corrupt you. We don't have too many big threats ourselves, though, which is a little unfortunate. So we really need to save the light bombs. He has some giants, I know that. Is it worth just branding for two cards? Probably. At least to get it on the board. Velens is good. Sledge Belcher, hello again, my buddy. I mean, Reno Lock games are fun. It's just interesting that for all the times where you think, oh, well, there's the implosion. Only an implosion of two. Right, so losing that Shrinkmeister hurts. I'd love to have that Void Collar back. Alright, I don't really want to play the North Shire because I'll uh, 
start losing things if I heal. I have a little bit of reach. I, must consider. I think it's decent to Holy Nova. Hmm. Options, options, options. I could Velens for fun, I could Holy Nova, and keep him from doing Power Overwhelming, which he hasn't used yet, on anything but Void Collar. He has less health than me, he hasn't used a Heal Bot yet, which I'm sure he has. Buying or selling. Right. Okay, so he just did 3 damage to himself. I am okay with that, but it does mean I need to end this game soon. Question is, is Malganis going to come out of this? No. Okay, Museum Curator, I don't know if you're going to save me right now. Let's give it a try. Uh, what sticks to the board pretty damn well? Any of these do. I don't normally go for runs, but I think I'm going to this time. I said, I just need something to stick to the board so I can use Nightmare and possibly go for the finisher here. We don't have many turns left. But it's worth it here. Because... All right, I gotta be able to kill him in one turn. Doctor Boom's good for me as long as he can't taunt up the bots. All right. All right, ten damage. Can we do it? That's three. Yeah, we win. No, we don't, because we don't have a dragon. That's right. The whole dragon deck with a dragon would be an issue, wouldn't it? Got too excited. That's my own fault. That might be my undoing, even. So let's see here. That's going to be a lot of damage that I take now. Unless I Holy Nova. Probably better that I do. So my plan was originally to... Uh, do something else a little different here. But now we're going to start having fatigue issues. I still have two light bombs. It's just going to be a severe question of if I can stick anything to the board. Because he's going to be able to stick things to the board. I said I'm sure one of these is a heal bot. The misplays are real in this one. So Swamp Ooze. All right, we're, we're taking some heavy damage here. All right, how do we want to do this? Let's see here, I can only light bomb. I have to start healing myself anyway, so. Problem is, is that he can just melee that out, but. Is he going to go for the melee damage, or is he going to go for the face damage? So that's another bit of fatigue damage. He's going to go for the face. Well, I feel like I played that one very poorly, but I still get bailed out of it somehow. I mean, I had something else that could have stuck to the board, too, but still. Very surprised he didn't have a heal button there. Maybe I just completely missed it. Interesting, just the same. I'll do another video of this with that Dragon Priest. Cause I guess here's part of it to a point, is that talking out loud about my moves and stuff, I I don't know. I've, I've made mistakes plenty of times before, but those were definitely some games that weren't as clean as I would have liked. But it's all right there. Uh, I mean, the Blackwing Corruptor, it whiffing sucked a bit. <laughs> Because I was like, ooh, three damage. Oh, I'm not holding a dragon. So maybe y'all can get some good laughs out of that. But uh, we'll do this again with the same deck. And I'm going to be streaming some Hearthstone as well as we tend to move closer to the uh, good old-fashioned 
release of the uh, Whispers of the Old Gods, which is coming up. So we'll talk about that in the days to come too, but here's the deck one more time. Uh, it's hard to showcase it in two matches, especially when one of them is a long-running one like Reno, where uh, I did my best to keep my opponent in the game for a while. But that's just rank 12 things right now. So this is Asher. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Take care.